for this video, I'm going to discuss on how to find the n term of a geometric sequence. So, geometric sequence is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non zero constant called the common ratio. So, the common ratio is represented by r. Then, this r can be determined by dividing any term in the sequence by the term that precedes it. For example, if you are going to have the geometric sequence here, 120, then 60, then 30. So we can just find the common ratio or R by dividing 60, the second term, with the first term, 120. So 60 divided by 120. Then this is also equal to 30 divided by 60. And this will be the common ratio or R. So in here, the common ratio is 60 divided by 120. This is 1 half. And 30 divided by 60, this is also 1 half. Therefore, R here is equal to 1 half. Now, the n-term of a geometric sequence is given by A sub n equals A sub 1, the first term. R times R, a common ratio, raised to the power of n minus 1. So this is the formula used in finding the n term of a geometric sequence. Now let's have some examples here. So find the 10th term of the following geometric sequences. So the first term here, a sub 1, is 3. And followed by a sub 2 is 6 and a sub 3 which is equal to 12. Let's find first the common ratio. So common ratio is 6 divided by 3 or you can have that one as 12 divided by 6. Now 6 divided by 3 it will be 2. 12 divided by 6 that will be 2. So R here or the common ratio is 2. So solving for the 10th term, so we're going to have a sub 10, that will be equal to a sub 1 is 3, so 3 times the common ratio r, 2, then raised to the power of n minus 1, so 10 minus 1, that will be 9. Then a sub 10 will be 3 times 2 to the power of 9. That will be 512. So times 512. And 3 times 512. The result here will be 1536. So the 10th term of this sequence here, geometric sequence here, is 1536. The number 2. Given here that a sub 3 is equal to 4 and a sub 6 is equal to 256. So we're going to find here the 10th term. So doing this one, a sub 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, we can represent that one as 4 equals in a sub 1 is unknown. So a sub 1, r is also unknown, the common ratio. So a sub 1 times r then a sub 3 that will be 3 minus 1 that will be 2 so r squared and if we're going to have a sub 6 here equals 256 so we're going to have 256 then this is equal to a sub 1 then r then 6 minus 1 that will be 5 r to the power of 5 if we're going to divide these two here 256 equals a sub 1 r to the power of 5 divided by 4 equals a sub 1 r sub 2 or r squared r squared our answer here will be 256 divided by 4 is 64 then a sub 1 divided by a sub 1 is 1 then r sub r to the power of 5 divided by r squared is r cubed. So 64 equals r cubed. Then finding the cube root of each side. So we're going to have cube root of 64 
then equals cube root of r cube. So cube root of r cube is r, and cube root of 64 is 4. So r here is equal to 4. So we have the common ratio. Now to find the first term, a sub 1, we'll just substitute the value of r in either of these two here. So we can just use this one. So 4 equals a sub 1 r squared. So this will become 4 plus a sub 1. Then r here is 4. So 4 squared, that will be 16. So a sub 1 times 16. Then dividing both sides by 16. 4 divided by 16, that will be 1 fourth. So 1 fourth. So the first term, a sub 1, is 1 fourth. So we have the first term a sub 1 and the common ratio which is 4. We can now find the value of the 10th term, term. So a sub 10 here will be equal to a sub 1 which is 1 fourth times r which is 4 raised to the power of 10 minus 1 that will be 9. Then 4 to the power of 9 that is equivalent to 262,144. Then multiply this one to one fourth, the answer here will be 65,536. So a sub 10 here is this answer here. So a sub 10 is equal to 65,536. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions about the topic, please comment down below and see you next time.